David, thanks for joining us. It's Wednesday, 31st of May. I've just had a look at Booster Budget, and when I just looked a minute ago, it was 155,000 and odd pounds. So I'm not sure I can quite believe it, but what's your reaction? <laughs> Stuart, I'm, I'm here. Thank, thanks for the call. Uh, I've just finished in the office down in Cambridge, and so I'm st sitting in a in a hotel room, but I'm just hearing that news and seeing it from Chris has just texted me. It's absolutely unbelievable. I just, I can't believe it. I, th I think, um, but why would I be surprised with the Dalton fans? I've said this many times. They're just the best fans in football. I've got to be honest, when I did the interview, the Booster Budget interview earlier, I, I was I was downbeat. I, I, I was a little bit, um, I was trying to reduce a sense of realism because, you know, it, we're not going to have as big a budget as as we had last year to start the season, that's clear. And that was so disappointing. When, when the season ended the way it did, Alan and I were on the floor. We were just good at the, I mean, the whole, the players were, the, 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 the boards were, it was, it was a tough time. And we discussed, and we had the meetings and we discussed what we could do and, and where we could go. And, um, you know, I, I, I was trying to do, bring out a sense of realism. And I think, you know, I saw some of the feedback on social media saying the interview was downbeat. And I've got to agree it was, because I, I, you know, I was, I wasn't <laughs> in the best of shapes, to be honest, but just trying to, to say, look, guys, let's, let's see what we can do. So setting the target and then seeing the fans go past it, it's given me such a lift, um, personally, and the football club. I know Alan is absolutely delighted. It enables him, you know, just the, the more it keeps going, the more we can go out and get players. You know, we've we've got some some other news coming soon. Alan's working his, you know, he's, he's working his socks off trying to get the, the right players in for this football club. He, he, um, working through with, with David as well, just trying to, you know, looking and sourcing and making sure we get the right characters in the dressing room with the right value as well. We've got a lot of competition. Leagues below are paying fortunes for certain players. Leagues above as well. So, and, and there's competition within our league. So getting the right characters at the right value, it, it, it is a, it's, a, it's a tough ask, but what the, what the fans have done is they've given Alan a great chance. I know how delighted he is to, to, to be in this position. Look, guys, keep it going. It's not over yet. Let's see how far we can get. <laughs> That's me being greedy, but let's see how far we can get. The more we get, the more it gives Alan, you know, power to his, to his elbow to go out and get the right players. You're right. I mean, football's built on emotion and love and affection for the club, isn't it? But moments like that, I mean, I'm sure in your shoes, there's times when it's really hard going. But nights like tonight, when you see the backing of the fans and how much they put their hands in the pocket to support, that must be one of the good days, I imagine. Oh, it is. You know, the, the you know... <laughs> Not only financially invested, you know, I'm I'm emotionally invested in this football club. Um, you know, and I've made no secret the fact I've been a Newcastle United fan since I, you know, since since I could first kick a ball, um, and I still follow Newcastle. But Darlington are there now as well, and the, you know, the worst possible Saturday night for for myself and Tina is <laughs> Newcastle can beat Darlington can beat, and we had even one one event this year when one of our horses was supposed to win a race and it didn't. So it, it's 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 really tough. Every Saturday you, you, you pray for the results, and I know how. I never, if, if we've been beaten, Alan and I don't speak on a Saturday night. We just give each other time just to then talk about it on the Sunday and have a good, what went right, what went wrong. Because it's just there's so much emotion and so much passion and you get bought into what this is all about and where, what we're trying to do. And the fans just... They, they, this is incredible. I've been asked actually for an interview by um, Fair Play uh, magazine. I think um, we're going to go forward with that. Um, I've stopped Chris and maybe Wayne will step forward and do an interview to help you know with the history of how we came back from receivership. They're really interested in the Darling story and and you know how successful it is. And this this boosts the budget figure. I mean, it's just it just sends a message out there to say, look at what that football club can do. Um, it's incredible. I just want to I just want to get us that you know get through these discussions with the new council, um, get that new ground in the planning, get it ongoing. The, the sooner we can get to that point, then. You know, whilst it's nice to have the funds coming in, I'd love to be totally independent and be able to say, there you go, darling, we've now got the, the wherewithal you know, to the fans to say, you don't need to do this anymore. We, you know, Hopefully we'll get to a point at some point in the future where we don't need it, where we've got the commercial revenue come from the assets we own and we can stand on our own two feet and have no worries about you know, financial worries in the future. That's what we've got to target for. The next yeah. two years are going to be key in that, in that environment because we're going to have that shortfall until we get the commercial assets. But when fans do stuff like this, it just, I mean, I've, it's been such such a boost for me tonight to, to see that I'm I'm delighted, absolutely ecstatic, and thank every single one of them for their for their contribution and their support. It, honestly, it, it's quite emotional, but it, it it fantastic evening for me. Great, a long long day in the office, long day dealing with crap at my day job, and then coming to see that it's been wonderful this evening. 
and you're right, you were downbeat, I was downbeat, Alan was downbeat, the players were, but it does feel like there's a real spring in the step again now, isn't it? That's the thing with football, it goes in cycles, and I think everybody talking to a lot of Darlington fans tonight are really back behind it, everyone's got a spring in the step, everyone's wanting to know when the fixtures are coming out, we want to get the season going again, it's been a remarkable turnaround. Well, if, if you look what Alan's done already, I mean, you look at the quality of Tom Platt, look at the quality of Toby Lees, um, yeah, Jordan uh, must have been a bit of an unknown quantity to us, but Alan's, Alan's done his homework there. Um, he's bringing in the right characters, the right physicality as well. The right, you know, we know what this league's about now. Alan, Alan learns every year. Um, you know, we all learn through that process of what we need and what we're trying to do. But getting those players is sometimes difficult. We're trying to avoid losing squad in January. That's the key thing we're trying to get around. That crippled us this year. We've got to try and avoid that and we'll do so whichever way we can. Um, can't guarantee, but hopefully we'll be in the right place. So, you know, the only way we'll lose players is if we have to put clauses in, because I'm telling you now, we, we, we don't need to sell. We didn't need to sell in January, but it, it was forced upon us. That's just where we are at the moment. But this, 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 this boost the budget, you know, it, it's incredible. And again, just thank you, everybody. I'm, I'm truly, truly you know, in, in awe of what you've managed to do this season. Brilliant. Great. Thanks, David. It's been a long day. It's been a long day, but a fantastically satisfying day for everyone at the football club. Um, Last message to you, really. Last message to the fans. What else can we do in the next month or two to make sure we hit the ground running as a fan group? And, and any final words that you'd have for the, for the fans out there who support through Boost the Budget? Uh, well, look, the, the, whilst this is still open, it's fantastic. Let's just keep the, let's just keep, you know, seeing what we can get in. Every every single pound go, is going to that playing budget. So let's see what we can do to give on that chance. And then um, in terms of the, the squad, Alan's raring to get them back in. Pre-season will start. We'll get them through the paces, the fitness. Pre-season friendlies come around, and, and we never make you know great money from the pre-season friendly. I understand that people are on holiday, uh, and you know it, it's difficult. But but we're trying to get some decent friendlies in. But let's you know let's get behind the team. Let's get behind Alan, and let's try and get off to a flying start. It's 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 great. I mean, I, Alan Alan was you saw his interview the night. He admitted he was down. He was he was flattened by it. He, we all were. It was, a, it was a tough thing. So as much as the fans are hurting, you know. We were too, but um, Alan's got his, you know, he's got his enthusiasm back. He's once he starts signing players of the right quality and the, and, and the right targets, it does give you a lift. And Alan's got that, and he's pushing on. But I know how much this has meant. He went and dug out that football shirt. <laughs> what can I do to help? What can I do to? He went and dug it out. And said, "I've got this. I'm going to sign it." To get the, you know, so that's great, great. You know, he was as keen as anybody to see this tour. Let's keep going up and up and. Incredible. I'm, I'm sure I'll get asked a lot of media questions over the next 48, 72 hours about what the fans have done. And again, they'll just come down to my full praise and admiration and affection for Brilliant. what they're doing for this, for this football club. So thank you once again. Brilliant stuff.